الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مدي سويت إسلام برادز لس رسائد رضا السلام الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Excellence of reciting Durud and Salam when a Muslim conveys 313 times through the park he will be with those who recite Durud Sharif abundantly so make it a habit of reciting at least the shortest through the park which can be achieved from Madani Pansura, which is Sallallahu Ala Muhammad, with the intention of conveying salutation and then straight after make a dua. Today is Thursday, inshallah. Try to prepare a glass of milk and a small meal at home, inshallah, and make a special dua and convey it to all the deceased Muslims that have passed away with Iman. May Allah give his ability to follow the steps of our pious predecessors. Sallu Ala Habib. صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. Reward of delivering درس on page 193, a book excellence of call to righteousness. The Islamic brothers indeed delivering درس from the book of Fazani Sunnat is a means of conveying the call to righteousness. Therefore, pluck the courage, get rid of Satan, and remove hesitation and deliver at least two درس daily, meaning two speeches daily. Okay. Give one dars at the masjid. Alhamdulillah, I've got the opportunity to do this. Or a public place. So you can do this at a shop or anywhere. Whether it's a relative's house, you can deliver a small dars or marketplace. And do deliver the other one at your home daily. At a preset time. So select an easy time for yourself. And give this short dars to your children at home and your family. So gather them in a room and give a seven minute dars, inshallah. Gifting the listeners with the Madni Pearl of Sunnah and reaping a great deal of reward. Listening to two hadith in the context of swaying with delight. Number one, the Holy Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has stated, Whoever conveys an Islamic teaching to my Ummah so that a Sunnah will be established by it or corrupt beliefs will be removed by it will enter paradise. Number two, the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prayed, May Allah Azza wa Jal keep the one fresh who listens to my hadith and memorizes it and conveys it to others. Dear Islamic brothers, let me tell you a Madni parable in order to enhance enthusiasm for dars from the book Fazani Sunnat. Summarized here is a piece of writing received from an Islamic brother from Babul Madina, Karachi in 1990, 1410 AH. I was employed at a firm in Markazi Oliya, Lahore. After a short period of time, an Islamic brother affiliated with Dawud Islami was also employed at the same firm. I once expressed an interest to him in studying such a book that could guide me about Islamic way of life. He rec recommended that I buy the book Fazani Sunnat published by Maktabatul Madina. The publishing department of Dawati Islami. After our meeting ended, the matter escaped my intention. The wheel of life continued to spin fast. Unaware of passing days and nights, I lived my life as usual and could not buy the book because of being occupied with the worldly affairs. After some time, I moved to Babal Madina, Karachi and settled there. One day, I entered the masjid to offer Salat al-Maghrib. After the Salah, I saw that an Islamic brother dressed in white and was delivering a dars from some book with many other Islamic brothers listening to him. I also attended the dars. When my eyes fell on the book the Islamic brother was delivering dars from, I saw that it was page the title, read Fazani Sunnat. Seeing the book brought back the day when that Islamic brother in Merkazi Oliya Lahore recommended that I buy the book after the dars ended. 
I met Islam brother and asked for Fazani Sunnat in order to study it and he gave it to me by virtues of studying this book. I was inspired to act upon the Sunnah. Gradually, I affiliate, uh, affiliated myself with the Madri environment of Dawud Islami and started observing Sunnah steadfastly. Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal. Furthermore, three of my brothers also joined the Madri environment of Dawud Islami. Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal. There is a couplet here. It mentions, O oh Almighty, may I not be lazy in conveying the call to righteousness. Make me fond of traveling with the Madani Kafila and grant me the privilege of delivering dars from the book of Fazani Sunnah twice a day. Sallu al Habib, Sallallahu Ta'ala, Ala Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My dear Islam brothers, today is Thursday, as you've heard the announcement regarding the weekly Sunnah inspiring Ijtima will take place at 8 p.m. here in Fazani Madina, Halifax. Inshallah, there'll be a recitation of Surah Mulk. Uh, praises of the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, English speech, there will be a dua, some announcements and zikr and dua, and then hopefully at the end there will be some langar, some refreshments for you. It's a mother request that you give invitation towards goodness, inviting Islam brothers to attend the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtima. May Allah Azza wa Jalla reward you immensely and grant you success in this world and the hereafter. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen. Jazallah anna Muhammad al mahua aflu. Allahumma anta salamu wa minka salam. Tabarak tayyad al jalali wal ikram. Ya Allah azawajal accept our salat al zuhur. Accept this short dars and give us the enthusiasm to invite Islam brothers towards the masjid. Ya Allah azawajal, we have learned and we have made intention to buy the book Fazani Sunnat. Ya Allah azawajal, give us the inspiration and the ability. To give dars uh, in the masjid or in the marketplaces and to give dars at home to our children. Ya Allah, take away the laziness from us. Ya Allah, Azza wa Jal, take away the love of the dunya from our hearts. Grant us the love of the deen and give us the ability to prepare for the akhirah by doing good deeds. Ya Allah, Azza wa Jal, bless the duas and acceptance of duas of the Hazreen and Majlis. Those who have requested for dua. Uh, some children are ill, Ya Allah. Dua request for Brother Danish. Ya Allah, another child who has a, a, a brain clot in the brain. Ya Allah, grant him Shifa and Ajila. Ya Allah, those who are ill around the globe, Muslims, believing men, women, and children, for the sake of Karbala, grant them protection of Iman and grant them good health and a long and pious life. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. صلى الله عليه وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين